Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here, and today's video is about Mo Norman. So you may have heard of Mo Norman, um, arguably one of the best ball strikers ever to have lived. So today's video, I'm explaining why you shouldn't copy him. And let me, let me explain and let me go a little bit deeper into this. Um, it's not that you shouldn't copy it, I just think people copy the wrong bit. So when you look at his swing visually, the, the thing that stands out the most is in his setup, the club almost looks like the shaft is going up through his forearm and then there's hardly any wrist whatsoever. So it's very much a one plane swing and like even if you look at Jim Hardy's stuff, like the one plane swing refers to more of the top of the swing. When you look at Mo Norman, it very much is one plane throughout the whole movement. So looks really simple, but it works not through the simplicity in the backswing, is once you skip into impact, Mo had loads and loads of side bend. The legs have moved laterally, He's very much in this position. So, yes, he's not using the wrist, but he makes up for that with a beautiful use of the body and the lower body in particular. So he's really pushing through. The issue that I see is people copy the simple bit and you go, well, that backswing looks so simple, what could possibly go wrong? But then if you make a conservative downswing, you're going to hit some terrible golf shots and you're going to hit behind the ball a lot of the time. So we need to get away from thinking the wrists are our enemy because what the wrists do is they add speed and they also allow you to release the club and it makes it easier to hit target side of the ball, you know, not hit the ground first. So Mo Norman shows how if you use the body really effectively you don't need the rest. So props to him, and he definitely utilized it to the fullest. But your average golfer probably either is not going to be able to make that move, or sometimes you can't even physically make that move. And if you're that person that isn't anywhere near as dynamic in the downswing, you don't want to constrain your backswing by not using the wrists you'll end up making a very short swing, so you're not going to have the time to change direction, so it's going to make it harder for contact, plus the wrists make it easier to whip the club through. So when you're watching golf swings that really work, try and find the bit that makes it so successful, or how the two things interact. So in this instance, the backswing interacts fantastically with the downswing. Don't take one chunk from a swing if you don't do the other stuff. So thanks for watching. Get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's tried Mo Norman's technique and have you had success or did you find it didn't really work out how you thought it would? You know, you thought it would bring you loads of consistency and it didn't really do so. Mo Norman certainly made it work doesn't mean, unfortunately, that you will be able to do the same. Maybe there's a better solution for you out there. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.